everyone. Uh, here's our next assignment. Uh, we're going to put the um, word art thing on hold uh, and do a little dabbling with your computers. So um, I want to really quickly be super, super uh, clear about this. I know everyone's abilities. And I know how to reverse search images. Do not copy and paste other people's work and claim you made it. It is wrong. Results in a zero. And parent guardian contact. So, don't do that. Make your own work. That being said, we're going to have fun. If you've already used your computer for stuff, it's going to be great. Um, so, here's the task. We're going to be... Uh, using Chrome Canvas. Each day you're going to use Chrome Canvas. Um, 30 minutes minimum for your drawing. Uh, and you just do one drawing a day. Uh, so very similar to what we've done before. Um, here's the rubric. Uh, now I have some people that are filling in their name, doing this stuff, but don't type the sentence. Make sure you type the sentence right there. You need a Comment about the entire project. Did you like it? Yes, no, why? All right, so make sure there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes to do something with. Eight boxes. All right, uh, here's an example of a uh, drawing that I made. Um, now, this was a demonstration for the uh, words project, and I did it on the computer and it was so much fun. I'm like, okay, we'll just play on the computer. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to see. Maybe you'll see this on your screen. I just double swiped on the screen. And then I swipe one more time. So, I think that was three swipes. And then right here is Chrome Canvas. So, it looks like a palette. And it should pop up Canvas app. Um and it will it should save all your drawings these are drawings from very early first uh, first projects it did all right so make a new drawing and you can full screen it all right so we have a bunch of tools here um if you don't have a stylus you can use your finger um if you take two fingers you can zoom in so i have this pen tool i'm using my finger right now so if i wanted to get detail i Two fingers zoom in and can get really, really detailed marks. And then when I scroll out, looks good. Um, over here is a palette. You can make your own. We've got the size of your marks and the opacity. Opacity is how um, clear or if you can see through it or not, and that'll be apparent with the marker. Okay, we got a pencil here. Uh oh, there's a pencil. Pencil makes pencil marks. So I'll make it really big so you can see. So it's kind of looks like pencil or crayon. We've got the pen. This is the marker. So I'll, I'll adjust the opacity here. Let me make this really big. So you can see it kind of, it. It's light, and you can make layers, and as they cross, it gets darker and darker and darker. Uh, we've got some chalk here, which uh, gets this really nice texture. I'll make that really big, too. And an eraser. And again, you can change the size if you want. Uh, now... Right here is the most important and awesome part, is layers. So what I can do, and you can see right there, there's a, there's, um, I just clicked on the background. That is super cool. Uh, so you can mess around with that. That looks great too. Oh my. So these all look really nice. I like that the best. Um. So what I can do now is make another layer, draw on top of that. Let's use white. All right, so I drew on top of that. Now I can go here and I can move these layers. 
So that makes the one behind it come forwards. You can also hide the layer so you don't see it. Uh, or just delete the entire layer if you want. Um, you can also, in the, in the directions I said, don't use other people's work. That doesn't mean you can't um, create something based on someone else's work. So this cat that I did, I started with this picture. So I found this online and downloaded it and uploaded it and then did the process of the lettering that we did. Deleted the cat and made a cool background. So you can mess around with that. Uh, the way that you uh, would start out with an image is I'm at the home screen. It says new from image right here. And the cat's there. Um, let's see, are there any other images on here that are cool? Um, I guess we can do this bird. All right, so at this moment, this is someone else's work. Um, I can use it to do some interesting things. Like as a template, or I'm tracing. I've seen people hold their paper up and trace. This is pretty much like tracing something. Actually, you know what? I don't want the I want the branch there. I might be cropping, cutting this section out. It's taking a while. Switch to the red. So again, I'm not calling. I'm I'm editing this. I'm making changes to the original thing. That is important. If you do not make changes, I'm gonna see that and call you out on it. And great will be not good. All right, that looks pretty interesting, I think. And so what I can do now is get rid of that, and I have that as a thing. Now I can add another layer, and then hide this, so I can just do some cool stuff. Fill this in, whatever. Uh, now, since I started with a drawing instead of... Um, I can't do that fill in the background thing. So the drawing is the background. This is the chalk. So I'm just making an interesting background for this thing. Let's see what that looks like. Now, you notice that the bird is behind it, so I'm going to hold this and pull it down, and I get the bird in front. Hmm. Let's see, maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw a branch in there. Let me sit on a rock. Little rock. There's no green in here yet. I'm going to throw some green in here. Oh, I feel like Bob Ross a little bit. Okay. You know what? I want the sun to be green. Green sun. Alright, what next? I'll make another layer. Now, one good thing about layers is if you don't like it, you can just delete the entire layer. You don't have to worry about 
racing in it for days. You just, I mean, I can do this. And let's put that down here. See what that looks like. Come on. There we go. I got this little lavender color going. Yeah, I like that. And I'll go back in. Just pen. Now, using the opacity thing is really helpful. It allows you to build up some really cool layers and extra colors, and it's nice. All right, so, I mean, I could keep going with this. I think I'm going to stop right about here. Now you can see, because the bird right now is on the very top, even though I'm scribbling, like right now if I scribble all across, can't really 